Hey, it's Marco from Craft Coffee Spot. DeLonghi, Dedica, and Breville Bambino are two very popular entry-level and budget models. I have the DeLonghi, Dedica, Arte version with me today, and this is almost a mirror image of the Bambino. They look the same and they cost the same, but there are some differences that I want to go through in this review. So first, they are both six inches wide and a very compact design. I like they're nice and tight because it fits nicely on my kitchen counter and I can easily put the grinder right next to it. Now you notice the Breville has a stainless steel exterior, while the DeLonghi Dedica uses more of a plastic casing. They both have the same interface with really intuitive one and two cup buttons on the top that are pre-programmed. One thing you will notice is that the Dedica does have this power button on the side, while the Breville you push a button to start and you can actually hold the one cup and the water button to turn it back off. Now the Bambino does start in three seconds, well, Dedica takes about 40 to 45 seconds to get ready. Now, I don't think that's that big of a deal because you do still have to run some water through the brew heads to, to preheat them. So I don't think you'll really notice that difference. One thing you will notice, the DeLonghi actually does have a second drip tray here. So you can take out this primary drip tray and you can get a little bit more cup clearance. Now, one problem I have though is that this primary drip tray does not have enough grates. So you can see there's just these two holes here. And the thing is, when these are done brewing, the coffee tends to drip after, and so coffee tends to accumulate really easily on this DeLonghi Dedica drip tray. This is especially a problem if you're using a bottomless porta filter, which is what I do. So I think the Breville Bambino has a better design with a little more grates, so coffee can fall through. And also you just have more cup clearance to start, so it's a little bit easier to use. So when it comes to the design side, I think the Breville Bambino is better. So we look at the accessories that come with both machines. DeLonghi Dedica comes with pressurized filter baskets, porta filter, and a tamper. Meanwhile, the Breville Bambino comes with pressurized and non-pressurized filter baskets, a porta filter, a tamper, and a milk jug. Now we've talked about pressurized versus non-pressurized baskets on this channel, otherwise known as dual wall, single wall baskets. And for us, the difference is those dual wall baskets are easier to use out of the box. You can use more range grind sizes on them, a little more forgiving but you'll get a much better flavor by using that non-pressurized basket. So I do recommend you upgrade that on the DeLonghi Denica. You can get an IMS basket pretty inexpensively, or you can get a Neozo portafilter like this that is also bottomless and comes with a non-pressurized basket. Also, the Denica does not come with a milk jug. Even though the Denica Arte is designed with a much upgraded steam wand, for some reason, does not include a milk jug. So you will need to get that as well if you want to froth milk. Again, that's a very inexpensive upgrade that I can include in the link below. On the other hand, the Breville Bambino comes with a more complete package. However, I think the tamper that comes with it is plastic and it's quite flimsy. To me, it's really unusable, and I recommend you upgrade this Lux House tamper. Again, pretty inexpensive, easier to hold, and it's easier to tamp coffee as well. I'll link this in the description below as well. Overall, with each machine, just assume that you're going to spend maybe $20, upwards of $50, just to get some different accessories, pretty much for either model. So the espresso brewing is a little bit different on both of these machines. So both of them use the same style of heating system, a thermal block, where you're essentially running cold water through a hot piece of metal. And the Breville Bambino has a newer design, the Thermojet, which is why it can start up so quickly in three seconds. It also has a little bit more efficient heat transfer. On top of this, the Breville Bambino has a PID, which helps manage the temperature swings. So it's a little more stable. And there's also a pre-infusion. So you'll notice when you start the Breville Bambino, it starts at a lower pressure and it's a little quieter, and then it ramps up to full pressure. And that just helps saturate your coffee pot so you can get a just more even and smooth taste when it goes to full pressure. And all of this leads to just a really good espresso on the Breville Bambino. I think it's excellent, especially for the price of this machine. Now, the Dedica does have a lot of these extra features, or at least I think it does. So DeLonghi doesn't say if it has a PID sensor in it, but I noticed you can actually change the water temperature on it. And if I preheat for a while, the temperature does tend to stabilize, which to me indicates there probably is a PID in here. And also you'll notice for pre-infusion, when you start the machine, it'll run for three seconds, then stop, which essentially allows that coffee to saturate, it's a carbon dioxide escape. Before then, it starts running after another three seconds at full pressure. So it's not quite a pre-infusion, it's more of a quasi-pre-infusion, but it actually gets the job done, and I found that Dedica does make a pretty good espresso too. Now that said, the Dedica espresso is a little more bitter and a little more thin-tasting than the Breville Bambino, 
And I think what that comes down to is the portafilters. So you'll notice the Breville portafilter is 54 millimeters, while DeLonghi is 51 millimeters. And pretty much that smaller size just means you're a little narrower puck, and so you kind of limit the amount of space for the water to even out and extract the coffee. So on a, the Breville, the larger size, you have just a little more surface area, and you can actually grind a little finer, especially when you're using that non-pressurized basket. You, know, you can grind finer, you can increase your extraction yield, and you tend to just get a little bit more richer flavor. I think that's why the Breville Bambino tends to just taste a little fuller and a little better here. Also, there's a practical impact that smaller portafilter. That said, it's a little harder to fill because it's just smaller. And so I find I tend to make a mess when I'm pouring coffee into this. And one other thing I recommend is that you get a dosing funnel like this, which you can put on top of your portafilter, and it just reduces the amount of mess that you'll make. This is another just simple accessory that I'll link in the description below. So overall, they both actually make really good espresso. The Rebel Bambino is a little bit better than the DeLonghi Dedica. So now let's talk about steaming milk with these machines. So they both have professional full metal steam wands, which I really like. It's the reason I like the Dedica Arte model. Now you will notice the Bravo Bambino steam wand starts a little faster, probably within five seconds. Meanwhile, on the Dedica, you do have to push the steam button and let it heat up for about 15 seconds before it starts. And one nice thing though, is you do have this valve to start and stop the steam wand. So it's a very quick start and stop. Well, the Bambino does tend to have a little bit of a lag when you turn it off. Now there's probably a little bit more range of motion on the Bambino steam wand, which makes it maybe a little bit easier to use. You can see, you just go a little further out. But the Dedica is pretty good too, and it is actually a little bit longer, so you can maybe reach the bottom of your jug if needed. I found that when you froth milk on both of these, it takes about a minute, and both can make a really nice texture, and I've gotten good latte art with both of these machines. Now, one little difference on the Dedica that I've noticed is that actually the steam wand is partially insulated. If you go and you actually take off the tip of the steam wand, you'll see that there's some plastic underneath this. And that plastic insulation does two things. First, it prevents you from burning your hand if you accidentally touch the wand, which is nice. Second, what I think is more important is that it makes it a lot easier to clean. When you're done frothing, you can just give the wand a quick wipe and it's clean versus on the Bambino. If you don't wipe it off right away, the milk crusts on there and it can be a little messy. So overall, I actually like the Dedica Steam Wand a little better just because that ease of cleaning, but both of them are actually really powerful and can make a nice microphone. So when talking about the interface and the easy use of both machines, they both have these pre-programmed one and two cup buns, which I really like. So it just means you can get a pretty consistent shot, especially if you're using the same beans, the same dose every time. Now on the Bambino though, it's a little bit easier to run a manual shot because you can just hold the button. And actually when you hold the button, you can actually extend the pre-infusion up to seven seconds. And that's actually nice because it allows that coffee puck just to saturate a little bit more, let that carbon dioxide escape. So you get a nice smooth and richer espresso. Meanwhile, on the Dedica, you can change the water temperature, which I mentioned earlier. And that's kind of a nice tweak to your espresso too. If you find that your espresso tastes a little bitter, you should go a little cooler on your water temperature. If it's a little sour, maybe a thin taste, then you should go hotter on your water temperature. Now, both these machines can actually put out hot water from the steam wands, which is also nice too, if you want to make an Americano. So some small differences here, but both are, are pretty intuitive, simple, and easy to use. So overall, these are both very good machines. I have already liked the Breville Bambino, and now I think the DeLonghi Dedica doesn't get enough airtime. They both, at the price point, can make a really good espresso and steam milk. However, I do think the Breville Bambino is a little bit better when it comes to espresso, while the DeLonghi Dedica Arte is a little better when it comes to frothing milk. For me, I think my overall recommendation still tilts towards the Bambino, and it comes down to some small things. I don't really like the drip tray and the Longi Dedica and the 51 millimeter portafilter. It's just a little harder to fill. So it's those small inconveniences that push me towards the Rebel Bambino. That said, I think your decision might come down to price as both these machines have to go on sale regularly. So I will link both these in the description below along with all the espresso accessories that I mentioned. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'm happy to answer them. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a like as it really supports our channel and make sure you subscribe to see our future videos.